guys. Happy Wednesday. Sorry, I'm moving the tripod here, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Um, I did not sleep very good last night. I don't think I got to bed until four something. Yeah, around four. I only got about four hours and 50, 55 minutes of sleep, something like that. So, too much going on in the head. Um, I may go out and do a couple errands. I was going to do an adventure today, but with the no sleep thing, I know it'll be a struggle because I'll get really, really exhausted really fast. So, I may just do some stuff around here and just, you know, a few things out and about close by, but, um, yeah, I didn't sleep again. It's okay, though because that's just my brain processing things and figuring things out, and that's okay. So I'm actually, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry. I did dishes last night at, I don't know, midnight. <laughs> I put dishes in the dishwasher and started them. I still gotta unload them, but um, the lawn people are here today, so you know what that means. My cars are a disaster. I'm going to try to prop you up here, so bear with me here. I'm in the laundry room, y'all. Sorry. I'll try to prop you up without you falling. Okay, guys. This is a little test to see how well that stays up there. I'm just putting laundry in the washer right now. So, you guys ever have days where you don't sleep because you've got too much on your mind? Am I the only one? happens to me quite a bit lately but that's okay because like I said my brain is just processing stuff and I'm working through things mentally and just figuring things out that's how I process things and figure things out and get on to the next step in life so sorry I gotta plug in the washer I don't um, I don't keep the washer plugged in because it drains energy so that's why sorry and I also don't keep my water on to the washer because sorry um, because I don't want it to leak when I'm not here as a safety issue because I don't need my house flooding you can hear the lawn people people <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. You can hear the lawn people out there today. So I need to wash vehicles today, it sounds like. We'll see how much energy I get to do that. But anyway. So I have got the washer going. I need to unload the dishwasher. You guys are just going to clean with me today. How about that? That's exciting. Not really. <laughs> Who likes to clean? Nobody. Let's just unload the dishwasher, shall we? <laughs> yep, this is what happens when you live a real life. You do real things. It's just how we roll around here. When I say we, it's just me, myself, and I, but we all get along. <laughs> yes, y'all, I think I think I, I think I'm funny. I don't know about you, but I think it's funny. So what are y'all doing today? Are you working? I'm not working today. Um, I'm trying to speak loud enough between the rattling of the dishes and the lawn care people, so I apologize. Um, what are you doing today? Are you working? Are you getting lots of stuff done? I'm hoping to have enough energy to get a bunch of stuff done today. Sorry, the guy's out there blowing. almost done I hope sorry it's loud um, hopefully y'all are getting some things accomplished today and getting on with yourself today and making a difference in the world today and um, I've been doing like I said a lot of soul searching and figuring this stuff out and 
maybe you guys are also going through some of that um, in your own life. Sorry, he's coming around the corner with the blower. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, maybe you guys are going through some of your own... I wouldn't say that there's struggles. Maybe you do have some struggles you're going through, and I pray for you that the Lord might lead you and guide you in your struggles to where He wants you to be. But maybe you're going through some transition, like I am. And sorry, I can't always look at the camera when I'm trying to get the silverware out. <laughs> uh, maybe you're going through some transition, like I am. And trying to figure out the next steps in life. And I pray that you are led and guided to the correct um, the correct choices for your next step. And as I've said it before, y'all, it's just a stepping stone. Everything in life is just a stepping stone to where you need to be. So when you're looking at a transition, y'all, don't look at it as if it's a permanent thing because everything in life is only temporary. And it's just another step to getting closer to where you want to be. So say, for instance, you have a big goal or a big dream, just like I always have big goals and big dreams. Um, and maybe you can't get to that big goal and dream at the moment. Sorry, I had a tea bag. I had an empty from last night. And maybe you can't get to that full big goal, full, full big dream. Um, you can't accomplish everything that you would like to accomplish in that goal or that dream all at one time. That's okay, y'all. It's just a temporary stop. It's just a, um, a stepping stone to getting to where you need to be in your goals. So remember that y'all because everything in life is just temporary we're only here for a short period of time and then we move on and everything that you try to accomplish is just a stepping stone and you can't look at it as if you didn't get everything that you wanted or you didn't accomplish everything that you wanted or it didn't go exactly how you wanted. That's okay because it's just a stepping stone to getting to getting you to where you would really like to be. Remember that, y'all. Okay, guys. So, sorry my phone was running out of brain just went dead. <laughs> was running out of was running out of data. I had to clear out some files. Um, but now I'm gonna wash some dishes. Isn't this exciting, y'all? Um, you can watch me if you'd like. Um, but I'm just having a little chat with you as I do some housework. We're multitasking, y'all. This is good. Maybe I'll set the camera in front of me. Pause that for a second. Well, this is a new shot, y'all. How exciting is this? I don't ever put you on this way. Yeah, this is exciting. <laughs> it's the little things in life, y'all. Um, so I was saying about your goals and where you need to be. Don't get disappointed. Don't get discouraged. If everything that you want to accomplish in a certain goal or a transition... Don't get discouraged if it all doesn't happen exactly how you want it to be. Um, and maybe everything doesn't come to a head the way it needs to. It's okay, y'all. Um, God has a plan. And as many of you know, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I live my life that way. Or try to. I'm not perfect. So, don't take offense. If you don't believe in him, that's okay. I still welcome you here. Um, you know, everybody needs somebody. And I don't look at you any differently. That's not, I'm not here to judge anybody. So, um, but my faith is what gets me through in life. 
so y'all you gotta you gotta stay strong you gotta keep believing because there's something bigger out there something bigger than you and if everything doesn't come together like you think it should don't get discouraged y'all life can be hard and there can be a lot of crap that goes on that you may not agree with and that you may not enjoy or it may really just dampen your spirits and it may be really hard to have faith during those times because I've been there y'all we all go through periods of time where it can be extremely challenging to have faith but I continue to have faith because God has never let me down and so if you're going through transition remember y'all it's just it's just temporary it's just a temporary stop and be thankful for where you're at in that transition even if it's not ideal even if it may be difficult be thankful because you're going through that for a reason and you may not know the reason and you may never know the reason but in the end it's gone exactly how God wants it to go. And like I said, we may not always understand it, but God has a plan. So in the transition that I'm going through, y'all, I just have faith. I know God is going to lead me exactly where he needs to lead me. And I try not to worry about it. I do a lot of thinking about it, but I don't really do a, a ton of worrying about it. If that makes sense to you guys. Like, I do try to think, okay, what, what's the next step? Where do I need to be? I look at all my options. Um, I do that kind of thing. But I don't sit there and worry, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen? What's going to what's gonna be next? Oh, my gosh, am I going to have to stay here forever? This, this, and that. I don't worry about that. This is just a stepping stone. Everything in life is temporary, and I know that. Um, I've been through enough stuff in life that I've learned you got to not stress about it as much as you can. And I know that's hard and that's difficult. You just got to have faith. Um, and pray about it. And I, I pray for everybody that is going through a transition. I pray for all of you. For the decisions that you need to make. Maybe it's... Maybe it seems like it's a silly thing you need to figure out. Maybe it's a really serious thing. Like, what cancer treatment should I take? Should I take any cancer treatment? Maybe it's something like, should I buy a new car? Um, should I go ahead and cut out some expenses in my monthly budget? You know, it could be anything. It doesn't matter if it's big. It doesn't matter if it's little. God loves you. God wants you to thrive, be happy, do the best you can with what you have. And he cares no matter what problem it is, whether it's big or small. And I just pray that the Lord guides and leads you exactly where you need to be and that you have a peace about it. Because he does have a plan, even when you can't see that there's a plan. He has a plan. Remember that, you all. So that's my little chat. I'm just washing my hands. I got the dishes done. I need to wipe the counters down. Y'all are just cleaning with me as I have a little chitty chat. You know, it's super exciting today. <laughs> but at least I'm multitasking and getting stuff done. Do you guys ever multitask? Put that in the comment. Am I the only one that does like 16,000 things at one time? Like, I'm doing laundry, I'm doing dishes, I'm YouTubing. You know, I got a video going on on the computer, and the guy with the blower's back out there again. These are the struggles, y'all. <laughs> it's okay, I'm still thankful. I'm thankful they're out there, even if they're not the greatest sometimes. That's okay. Be thankful in everything. The struggles and all, because there's a reason for it. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, y'all. <laughs> Life is real sometimes. Okay, y'all. I'm just wiping down counters and such. Got my coffee here. I need to do my coffee. Um, just wiping down stuff. Getting the house in order. Thing when you own a house, y'all, is you've got to 
keep up with it. You gotta take care of what the good Lord is giving you. Um, and be thankful for it. In the good and in the bad. So if y'all are wondering what I use to wipe down counters, I know that's really interesting to some people. <laughs> um, I use Mrs. Myers. I get the concentrate um, from Target. I think you can get it from other places too, but um, I try to use as much natural, organic, plant-derived, that type of thing for my cleaning supplies as much as possible because my health is important to me and I know what it's like and I've gone through when you are using chemical based stuff and you get really really sick from it I've been there I'm still there and I mean if I start using too much stuff that's not good for me I start getting really sick so I've got to keep an eye on that. So that's what I use, y'all, is I use Mrs. Myers. You can look it up. I think they have a website, too, that you can order from. But I'm making my coffee. This is that sugar-free caramel. It doesn't say sugar-free on the front, but it is. It's made with sucralose. Um, I put that in my coffee along with some coconut almond milk. Whatever I have, usually coconut or almond. This is a mixture. And... This is my second cup for the day because I'm at a late start. I don't even know what time it is. Oh. I know I got a late start. But. So, yeah, look at that table over there, y'all. That is a disaster. My table's always a disaster because I, I don't have a desk. And I run a business. So, paperwork everywhere all the time. Yeah. I used to be more organized, but I'm not very organized today. Let's move you over here so I can clean the stove. Top. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're going to clean the stove top. Um, I think I mentioned it before. I love this stove top, y'all. It's an induction stove top, so it cooks more thorough and faster. It's different than an electric cooktop. This is an induction. And I use my cast iron pans, as y'all know, um, for a couple reasons. There's only a couple kinds of pans that work on these. And health reasons, that's why I use cast iron. But they work on the induction. So, yeah. It always gets dusty in this house. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. So hopefully you enjoyed my little chat. <laughs> I need to work on this. I got laundry in the washer. I need to vacuum and mop. Um, yeah. Always stuff to do, y'all. But this is cleaning with me. I got the dishes in the thing. Wash those up. And that's what I got going on today. Hopefully you got a little bit from that little chat that we had. And remember, just stay strong in your dreams and your goals and your transitions. And trust and lean on God and I pray and when I say I pray I honestly truly mean it from my heart I am very passionate about love for other people and we've all been through transitions so see I get choked up about it because it's real y'all and I feel for you so stay strong you guys and I pray for you I really do I pray that you find what you're looking for. So, yeah. This is passionate here, y'all. God gave me a, a passion to love other people. Um, and then there's sometimes I don't like them too much. <laughs> That's just how it is. There's a lot of people out there that are not the greatest people in the world, but I still love them as a Christian. And I pray for them, but I don't have to agree with them or tolerate them. Um, you got to surround yourself with the people that you would like to become and eliminate the people that are harming you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. You have to eliminate them from your life because 
it's not good for you. Um, you can't expect to surround yourself with, let's just say, murderers and rapists and all that and expect yourself to be happy and holy and not fall into that trap. Because if you want to see a person's soul, look at their friends. Their friends are going to tell you exactly the type of person they are now or what they're going to turn out to be if they stick around. So live a healthy, pure life and surround yourself with people that are good for your health, mentally, emotionally, and physically, and spiritually. Um, because those are the people that are going to be there for you and they're going to lift you up when you need to be lifted up and you're going to be there for them. So it works both ways. But always strive to be a better person, y'all, because God's got more for you than what you even know. And he's created you for so much more. So don't limit yourself. And he knows exactly where he's going to put you. So just trust in him. Hey guys, the laundry's done, so I'm going to pull that out real quick. And bear with me, I'm going to try to sit you up here again. I'm going to pause it. Okay, y'all. Hopefully you won't fall off there. <laughs> I'm just pulling out the laundry. I um, This video is getting long, so I'm probably going to do a two-part series for today because the video is getting long because I had the little chat with you. But I am still doing household chores because I'm excited. <laughs> I'm thankful even when I have to do chores, y'all. <laughs> Life ain't easy all the time. But that's okay. Because I'm thankful that I have a house. I'm thankful that I have a washer and dryer to do laundry in. I am thankful for dirty clothes. I'm thankful for clean clothes. I am thankful for anything and everything in between. But this video is getting long, so I'm going to do a two part series, y'all. And, um, so, tune in for the second part. This part's more doing chores while I was having a little chat with you about life. And the second part, I don't know, we'll see. There's, the day is still young. Anyway, y'all, remember to live a simple, happy, healthy, tiny life. Subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, and, um, get ready for the second part of this video. Here we go.